When new pet parents bring a puppy home, training almost always comes to mind. But the same can't always be said of cats. In fact, most people never consider training a cat because they assume they'll be independent and aloof. But this certainly isn't the case. Cats are intelligent animals that can be trained. While cats can be trained to do the array of tasks dogs are bred for, basic training comes naturally to them. Cats will instinctively use a litter box, and common dog behavior problems like play biting are easy to avoid. Training your cat will help them be more social, less anxious, and overall more content. Stock up on treats. Cats need motivation. Unlike dogs, cats won't be as excited and eager to learn unless their rewards are worth their while. To make the most of your training sessions, be sure to stock up on their favorite treats and delicious cat food. Best time. Cats' daily lives follow a predictable cycle of hunting, playing, eating, grooming, and sleeping, so you'll want to fit training sessions into their routine. Try training your cat right after they wake up from their nap as they'll be ready to play and more likely to focus. They'll also probably be hungry, which means they'll work extra hard for those tasty treats. Keep it short. Cats have short attention spans. A training session under 15 minutes is long enough to accomplish the goal but short enough to keep your cat focused. The most effective training sessions are usually short, but frequent, and natural. Remember, the goal should be progress, not perfection. Gentle. Encourage your cats to see hands as always rewarding. To discourage biting, dab your knuckles or the back of your hand with a little homemade or store-bought treat paste. Say gentle as your cat or kitten licks your hand, pulling your hand away calmly if she begins to nip or bite. One at a time. While it is possible for cats to learn a few things simultaneously, it is thought to be most effective to teach them one thing at a time. To be utmost successful, allow your cat to master the respective objective before moving on to a new one. Training rewards good behavior. Cats respond very well to the system of positive reinforcement. Our favorite pets love doing things they get something good out of. Therefore, whenever your feline does something well, Reward her with an encouraging praise, scratch, or a treat. You can use the clicker every time you reward them. Clicker can be a training clicker, a pen, or even your tongue. Every time they hear the clicker, they will know they did the job well. Do not punish bad behavior. Cats typically do not respond well to punishment. This type of disciplinary methods is not found to be helpful and it often triggers stress and anxiety. Instead, whenever you spot an inappropriate behavior, try to distract your cat. For example, if you're teaching them not to scratch the furniture, every time you see them do it, make a quick, sharp sound like whoa. The cat will be distracted and stop the action. Be consistent with the sound choice and avoid using common words like hey or no. This is to avoid the confusion when they hear these sounds in different contexts. Involve others. It is recommended for other family members and frequent visitors to be involved in your training too. Everyone should know what the ultimate goal is and which method you are employing. For example, every person who spots the cat scratching the sofa needs to react and apply the same corrective measurement like you. Start early. If you are bringing home a kitten, you may want to start teaching them certain behaviors early on. For example, Socializing the kittens and getting them used to being handled and groomed is all easier done early in the kittenhood. Raising kittens in this way will make it easier for us to take care of them when they grow up. Basic cat trainings are the following. Litter box. The first step on this journey is to find the right spot for the litter box. It should be easily accessible and placed in a quiet and private area that isn't too far out of the way. Most importantly, Always keep the litter box clean and fresh. A neat trick is to place the cat in the litter box shortly after they've eaten and gently scratch the sand with their front paw until they urinate. Repeat this several times. Your cat should shortly realize what the purpose of the litter box is. In the beginning you will want to praise and reward your kitty immediately after they've finished up. 
Do not punish them for out of the litter box accidents though. They won't learn from it and you may make them nervous or scared. Not to bite. In this task it is important to recognize when and why your cat bites in the first place. Is it a rough player or does it bite you when you disrespect their privacy? If your cat starts biting and scratching you during a play activity, it is important to stop the game as soon as they become too aggressive. Disengage from the activity, stand or sit still and ignore your pet. If you are consistent with this method, they will soon realize you won't play with them if they are too rough. If they are attacking you when you are handling them too much for their taste, then just try to respect their boundaries. A cat could also be aggressive if they are not getting enough exercise. You can fix this by providing them with more outlets for their predatory instincts. Give them plenty of toys they can flick, chase, and catch. Some toys such as fishing toys will enable you to join in the hunting game with your pet too. Not to scratch the furniture. If your cat is scratching the furniture, maybe they just need to scratch. Provide them with a scratching post where they can sharpen their claws. Also, whenever you spot the inappropriate behavior, distract your kitty with a sharp, uncommon sound. It will alert them, but it won't create panic. Try to use the same sound every time. Do not decline your cat though. This will not solve the problem, and can only make it worse. Staying off countertops. Cats love to jump on countertops, which can be unnerving and cause damage. Training a cat to stay off the counter is possible by using double-sided tape or an object the cat doesn't like to discourage them from jumping up there. If they do jump on the counter, calmly and gently put them back on the ground. If they know the sit command, this is a good time to use it. When your cat sits and doesn't jump back up onto the counter, give them their treat. Yowling for food. Like clockwork, some cats will start yowling and meowing close to mealtime to get your attention. The best way to stop incessant cat meows is by simply ignoring the behavior. Your cat will soon learn there is no reward for this and stop. Try making them sit while you prepare their food to show them only good behavior will get them what they desire. Cat training tricks to try out are the following. Come when called. Attract your cat with a bag of their favorite treats as you are calling their name. Then you should reward them when they come to you. Soon they will make the connection between their name and the tasty reward. Once they've progressed, you can start replacing the treats with praises and encouraging head scratches. Sit. When teaching the cat to sit, you may want to include a hand signal as you give the verbal command. Stand in front of your cat with your treat and clicker. Say sit in a calm and steady voice and hold your hand vertically in a stop sign. Every time your cat sits down when you do this, reward them with a treat and click the clicker. High five. Teaching your cat to give you a high five is a lot simpler than it seems. Start encouraging their paw movements but treating them every time their paw moves off the ground. Then, wrap the treat in your fist and wait for them to try and grab it with their paw. When they do this, reward them. Gradually start lifting your hand higher and higher. Every time they touch your hand with their paw, reward them. Don't forget to use the verbal command and say high five or shake paw as you train them. Your kitty will soon learn that they should give you a high five whenever you extend your hand and say the magic word. The list of amazing tricks your furry friend can learn is endless. You could teach them to ring a bell, lay down, roll over, swim, dance or jump. All you need is a cat, an idea, lots of patience, consistency, and love.